eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Fight, robots, fight. Ooh, we got a good box rush from anti-social distancing, but it Correct. just hit, uh, hit the wall on its own. Doesn't look like the weapon on anti-social distancing is running. What incredible luck for Casey Jermiason and Casey Jermiason. Yeah, the Casey's are really coming out on top of this one. That's fantastic. They have faced a lot of opponents in this 12-pound full combat uh, brackets that are essentially sportsmen, Kyle. Yeah, it's true. It's true with their tiny little saw blade. Now let's see if, uh, if Casey can line up uh, the, the saw blade here and land a hit. I'm hoping we see some sparks by the end of this fight. It does seem like Casey is trying to uh, to really angle the front of his bot there. Super hard to catch up to anti-social distancing. Though. Yeah, anti-social distancing is a zippy, zippy little bot. Casey and Casey, they need to uh, to really be working together here to corral. Oh, here we go. That's a good pin. That's a good hit on the top of anti-social distancing. Oh, and look at this. Casey Jermiason has successfully, uh, is really successfully pushing anti-social distancing. Truly, yeah. Really nice control there. Now, if you didn't catch uh, Casey Jermiason, uh, you know, this, this team's uh, debut, you may be wondering why we keep saying this name. It's because they're a married couple, and they're both named Casey. That's right. They've, uh, this is an interesting bot that they brought to this competition. Yeah. All right, here we go. The hammer saw is coming back down. I just don't see any hammering. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a gentle padding saw, you know? <laughs> it's a gentle padding saw. There you go. Yeah, it's not really hammering anything. It's just saying, hey, let me, let me give you a nice back rub, and then just into your back. So you really think that this is what, like an articulated saw or something? It's an articulated saw, yeah. For sure. So the difference between a hammer saw and an articulated saw is speed. Is that right, Kyle? Yeah. If you if the saw goes down on a hammer saw, you can still use the arm as a hammer. Forty seconds left here in this fight. I'm curious how the judges are going to see this. This one will very likely go to the judges. We've got these uh, weird, huge foam bots and anti-social distancing, which just hasn't uh, had a weapon at all in this fight. You've got to wonder what happened back in the pits. 20 seconds left. Yeah, right. this, this is one in. is going to the judges. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's the end of the match. Turn off your weapon, Casey, and drive to the door. You know, for a bot called anti-social distancing, they really did a good job distancing themselves <laughs> in this particular match. Yeah. They just uh, stayed maybe far, Maybe distancing far away. themselves from the win, Kyle. I, I, you know, maybe. All right, uh, let's start with Don Dorfler. Your thoughts on this fight, uh, rip and tear versus anti-social distancing. It was an exciting one. <laughs> uh... But yeah, uh, I can just recall one moment in the match where uh, Rip and Tide uh, got a social distance in the corner and dropped the saw in it. And that's all I got. So yeah, I'm choosing Rip and Tide. All right, we've got one vote for Rip and Tear. Diana, your thoughts? Uh, they're very similar to Dawn's. Um, this anti-social distancing did a good job of not letting rip and tear get more than one or two drops with the saw but unfortunately was not able to do much damage yeah so i'm gonna go with rip and tear all right we've got two votes for rip and tear jack tweedy will this be a unanimous judge's decision yeah. All right, we've got 